Hi coloring friends and welcome. So happy to have you here today. I have a small-ish stack of things that I either was gifted or purchased for the month of December. So I'm going to share those in this video and I'm going to start with the supplies here. This should be a rather quick one because I don't have so much today but um, we went, my family and I decided to go to Ikea after Christmas and check out the sales they had going on and um, look at some furniture and things. And I saw these in the uh, kids section <laughs> and um, they are just a watercolor pencil and they come with, I thought it was nice that they came with the, since they're a bigger, a thicker uh, pencil, they came with their own sharpener and a paintbrush and they were cheap. I want to say they were only $4. Um, so I'm intrigued. I want to see what they're like. Um, and I, 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 I'm going to do it in a video. I'm going to try these out in a video and we will see if they are, uh, surprising or terrible or something in between. So we'll find out together about those. That'll be coming soon. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to check out something different. Um, and then I picked up this set of distress inks, um, Joanne Fabric had their, they had a clearance sale going on where you got an additional 20% off of clearanced items and I saw that these were on clearance and I snatched it up. So, um, these are all colors that I don't have. I don't have, I don't have very many at all, but I'd really like to work a little more on backgrounds this year and I think these will be nice to have. So especially excited to have the green one and this very light blue. Um, those will be nice to have. Then for Christmas, my husband got me this uh, Art Philosophy Metallic Pastel Accents. I do have, sorry I'm going to take the plastic off, I forgot to do that ahead of time. I do have another palette from the Art Philosophy line, and I really like it, so definitely excited to check this one out. Um, and I'm interested to see how different it is, because I, I guess the ones that I have already are sort of a more gem, gem tones, um, more of a bold color. All right, there's a sticky. Let me get that off here. All right, here we go. Now we're ready. Sorry, I was not prepared ahead of time. Hmm, these are... Well, they're certainly a little different in the palette than the first set. Oh my. And they are all popped out of their container, too. Alright, at any rate. Um, yeah, they do look like they're definitely going to be different, uh... A lighter tone than the set I already have. Um, these are really cool looking. This purple, pink, and blue here. So I'm very excited to swatch these and maybe I'll get a little water in them and do a quick swatch of them before um, the end of the video. So okay I have water in the paint set but I'm going to go ahead through the coloring books that I got and then at the very end I will uh, swatch those out real quick just because I'm curious to see what they look like. Uh, so I got from my husband uh, this Creative Haven Snowflake Mandalas coloring book. It is by Marty Noble and I have a few other uh, Marty Noble coloring books but these will be fun to do throughout the winter I think with uh, gel pens or fine liners. Um, they do go to quite, quite intricate, some of them, but that's okay. That'll be fun. Yeah, so just a whole bunch of different snowflake patterns. Amazing how many different ones they can come up with. And then another mandala coloring book I got from my husband, and this one is called Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I had this on my Amazon list, and I didn't it, it it's a little more simplistic than I thought it was gonna be I all I could see as I recall on Amazon was the cover and 
it is a little different inside. <laughs> so, um, as opposed to the last one, they are very simplistic. Um, which, I mean, some of them, this, how, how quick would this be? So I'm thinking, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to keep it. It's, it'll be fun to have around Valentine's Day. I don't think it was very expensive. Thank goodness. Um, but it might be fun to play around with um, some different backgrounds behind it. Since the designs are so large, you could kind of work in more of a fun background behind um, to work on some pencil shading, maybe do gradient hearts um, all the way through the design on one of them. Um, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to use it to kind of practice some skills, I think. Just because it is so large and I mean, like this one, it's so simplistic, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I can use, um, try out some different techniques with it that, you know, there's the thick line art and the large image, image and that makes it easy to kind of play around with a little bit. So this one could be really pretty depending on the color selection you use. So anyway, um, that is the Mandela Coloring Book, Love and Heart. Um, happy Valentine's Day. So it's a little, a little different. I don't know if they even mention a, an artist at all. I don't. Small Family Company, Skypey. So, and it, it is, um, Amazon paper that it's printed on too. So, but I'll have some fun with that one. It's a little different than what I had expected, um, based on the cover, but it's okay. I will still make good use of it. And this one I bought for myself. I, uh, saw it had gone on major sale on Amazon. I think, I think it was three something. Uh, so not bad at all. And this is a Teresa Goodridge, uh, by Creative Haven Enchanted Christmas Coloring Book. And I love the images in it. I think I saw somebody flipping through it on YouTube as well. And look how cute that is with that Santa. This is a really pretty one too. But I always love Teresa Goodridge artwork, so... Uh, happy to have this one and add it to my collection. And oh yeah, that was the other thing I liked about this one. There's like a, there's a Christmas mermaid. There is, there were a couple other different ones. There's a Christmas fairy here, I think. There's a, a Christmas castle with a unicorn pulling a sled of presents. So just some different things. There's a little tiny fairy in a Christmassy house. I'm trying to look at this and see if I could color this for January. I think, I think I could. Um, it's a little woodland Christmas scene. Yeah, so just some different things. That was the other thing that uh, drew me to this one. Is it's not your average uh, Christmas images. So that's the Enchanted Christmas Coloring Book by Teresa Goodrich. And this one was very exciting for me to get. My husband got me this one too. It is the Circle of Life coloring book. It's one of those that you see over and over again and all the amazing coloring people have done in them and you won it and and I finally got it. So uh, this is... Um, I'm going to just stick with the first name of the artist here because I know I'm going to mess up that last name and I have a feeling most people know it. Uh, but Mel, Pini, Mel Pamini, uh, The Circle of Life. And I think they have another one out now too. So I'm already behind, but that doesn't matter. I'm super excited to have this book. I can't wait to color in it. I, I am intimidated <laughs> to color in it because I've seen what other people have done and it's amazing. I, I love this picture here with the turtle with the sunset scene in, on his back. 
so cool. These pictures are so cool. This is another one of those that I could just sit, just sit and flip through and look at the pictures and I'll be happy. <laughs> Don't even have to color it. Um, I'd be perfectly happy just appreciating the artwork that's already here. So this one, this giraffe one is so cool. This one is super intimidating. The reflection um, of the rhinoceros there. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge for sure, but I'm so, so happy to have it. And I will move on because I know I'm sure everybody's seen it. Uh, but that's Circle of Life by Mel Pamini. And I will leave the last name alone. And my last one, here what I did for uh, the month of December was I decided to cancel my Coloring Heaven subscription. And then I think almost the very next day they announced that they were coming out with a strawberry shortcake uh, issue. And I, I said, okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going on an order again. So even though I canceled my coloring heaven subscription, I still ended up with a coloring heaven magazine for the month, but that's okay because I love this. I was an eighties kid and strawberry shortcake was, I still have, still have some of my strawberry shortcakes. Um, but yeah, I can like some of these images, I can remember having them on like, I think I had a little dish set that had this style of artwork on it. And when life, when life gives you lemons, make lemon meringue. So cute. Yeah, so I have, um, I still have little, uh, tiny figures of strawberry shortcake. I have, um, maybe 12 of those still. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if we still have the actual, I had the, you know, more, more Barbie style. They weren't as tall as a Barbie, but Barbie style of these two dolls. And... I had a little baby apricot uh, doll and she had a, she had a hard head, but a soft body and it was like a baby doll, but you squished her tummy and she would blow uh, apricot scented kisses at you. And I, I think, uh, I think we got rid of her, which makes me so sad, but um, yeah, I can still remember what her little kisses smelled like. But I love this issue. Love it. I have a little cherry blossom figure and she's got her little uh, goose with her. And Raspberry Tart, I think was her name. I have a little figure of her as well. And I think they all used to be scented too. I don't think they are anymore, but... Yeah, so if anyone else out there is an 80s, 80s kid like me and was a fan of the Strawberry Shortcake, run and get yourself a copy of this from Coloring Heaven. <laughs> or, yes, Coloring Heaven. I'm getting myself mixed up here. But yeah, this one is so cute. No, no regrets whatsoever. So happy to have this. Um, and that is it. So let me transfer back over to the paints and we'll check those out real quick. Okay, here we go, and dive into this first one here. It's a pretty yellowish color. I'm just going to go kind of below the paints there. All right, that's a different one for sure this purpley here that looks really pretty very pretty I like that one a lot 
All right, I'm excited for this blue here too. That's a gorgeous color of blue in the in the pot. Ooh, that is pretty. Wow. Okay, I'm excited to have that one for sure. This pinky is really pretty too. Who am I kidding? I'm going to love them all. <laughs> yep, that's pretty too. They seem just a touch grainier than the last palette I have. I did pull that one too, just to kind of compare the colors in each one. There's some really cool looking ones. They're going to be very... They remind me of the opal colors I have from... Uh, it's Ganzai Tambi watercolors. Yeah, they are a lot like those. These in here, I think they're going to be a lot like those opal watercolors I have. Ooh, that yellow is pretty. Very vibrant. I don't know if I'd call that a, a pastel necessarily, but it is really pretty. Back to a, more of the opaly, iridescent-y ones. Very pretty. Very pretty, but definitely a lot like the uh, Ganzai Tambi ones that I have. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Beautiful. The green and the blue I could see in... Any kind of oceany <laughs> picture would be gorgeous. And these uh, more iridescent ones, they're always fun to use on like any uh, jewelry in a picture as a little accent, like a pearls or I've done, I know I've painted pearls with that type of paint. Seashells. So they're definitely nice to have. This is a pretty one. Very metallic though. I'm curious. I'm going to compare it to the metallic set that I have already from them and just see how different the colors end up. Ooh, that's a pretty one. That's different from any of the ones I have in that other set. So that'll be fun to have very iridescent and I will hold this up too I know it's probably hard to really get a good look through the camera at some of these uh very iridescent ones so I will try to angle it a bit and show them a little better very pretty though very pretty set um okay so this is the other set that I already had is the metallic accents by art philosophy and I do have a little swatch card in here for that one, so I'll kind of compare here. So it looks like the yellow is very different from the yellows in that set. The This very first one is very close to this one here in the palette. Um... The silver is kind of an in-between here, in between these two, so that's kind of nice. Um, this green is close to this, but slightly different. The blue is definitely different, so that's nice. And um, I would say the purple and pink here are a more pastel version than these here. They are more gem tone to me than these here. Um, and then certainly these iridescent ones you don't get at all in the other set. So, yeah, so that's going to be nice to have both sets, I think. Um, let me kind of try to angle it so that you can get a better look at those iridescent colors if you're interested at all. Yeah, so this definitely has a pinky toned iridescent. This one's the blue uh, purple toned iridescent. There's a blue one, and then this is a 
almost a yellowish greenish one. But yeah, these are really nice. They have a really nice shine to them. Um, and I really enjoyed having the set that I already had for different accents on pages. So I'm going to have fun with these too, I know. Um, and I will wrap it up here. Hopefully that wasn't too long focusing on this paint set here. But I was curious, so I thought maybe somebody else would be too. Um, and um, I hope everyone else is enjoying... Um, if they got any new things in the past month, I hope you're enjoying those. Uh, did you get a favorite thing? I'd love to hear about it. I'm always excited to hear about new uh, coloring supplies. I think that's half the fun of the hobby is kind of uh, enjoying things with everyone else. So um, thank you so much for being here and checking out what I received and uh, purchased in December. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <music>